Okay, great. So welcome everyone. Um, uh, welcome to this uh, certification ceremony. Uh, congratulations to everyone. Uh, you have uh, successfully completed uh, the four weeks online course in supply, ch uh, in supply chain for health. Uh, we are uh, even more excited than you to see you finish uh, this this course and i see several faces today and uh, I, I see really uh, real excitement here as well some uh, <clears throat> some of the, some of you are looking quite pretty today uh, that's that's great uh, and uh, in fact uh, throughout those last uh, 4 to 5 weeks uh, it was uh, it was just great to understand uh, the realities from the ground to hear from all of you uh, and you know uh, to learn as well alongside you i mean believe me uh, it's not just that you have learned a lot uh, as instructors jil and i we have also learned uh, quite a few things and uh, you know your feedbacks uh, evaluations and everything uh, and you know your uh, responses in several of those discussion forums they really help us uh, understand uh, you know if we need to uh, tweak some part of the content uh, and uh, you know how to even enhance the course delivery in the coming in the coming sessions so we really sincerely uh, thank everyone uh, who have participated in this course and uh, uh, you have also contributed to making this course even better for uh, you know the next lot uh, who will uh, come and learn with us uh, today we have uh, alexis trader with us uh, i will introduce her in in a short while she will be speaking very soon um, but before we go to that session let me quickly uh, congratulate everyone again uh, so I think at, at this stage, we can all switch on our mics and uh, clap for all of us, you know. <laughs> so we can all switch on our mics and just clap, you know, because it was, it was an intensive. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Great. It, it, was indeed, uh, it was indeed an intensive uh, four weeks and uh, I know a lot of you, you were trying to juggle work, uh, your personal lives and, you know, putting your best foot forward on this course. I mean, the amount of uh, discussions that we saw, uh, your participation in the classroom sessions and, you know, following the calendar, that was the biggest thing. I mean, uh, every week, uh, close to 70% of you were following the calendar to the dot. So uh, every week, whatever number of lessons and discussions and assignments were needed to be done, you were doing it on time. So that was amazing. And uh, it, it really shows uh, your level of commitment and, uh, you know, your zeal for learning in this, in this area. So real, real congratulations to everyone. Uh, I've just shown some quotes uh, uh, from some of you, and I've I've made sure I've represented both Team Red and Team Blue here. Uh, there are two members from Red and two members from Blue, so that it, until the end we have uh, you know equal representation. But it was really good to hear from uh, uh, hear nice things from you. For example, Princely, uh, you have been quite vocal about how this course has affected positively affected your uh, you know uh, your work and uh, how there are so many things that you are taking away from this course uh, which uh, which you will try to implement uh, in your work and similarly with barbara uh, who was uh, who was actively I, I we saw that she was actively leading uh, team red as well in several of the discussions uh, she was always there uh, in these sessions i i hope she's here today as well I uh, don't see her uh, yet, but I'm sure she will join us. Uh, she was actively leading the groups and uh, always contributing, uh, you know, uh, you know, from her experience. And she was one of the participants who was who was in an entirely different time zone. So it was really amazing to see uh, the same kind of zeal from people from uh, different places, different countries, different time zones. 
Uh, so this slide was uh, uh, sorry, uh, there is some echo coming from your side. So yeah, uh, this slide is uh, for all of you. Uh, it was uh, a really great team effort and uh, individual and team effort the way you've completed the course. Uh, before I go to Alexis, I just want to show all of you, uh, you know, the, the evaluation that you did at the end of the course uh, so that you also uh, see that we take these things quite seriously. Uh, so here on this slide, you will see that uh, on one side, uh, when we ask you about your course experience, uh, your, uh, if we, if the course and the way we delivered it met the course learning outcomes, which we discussed in the beginning of the course. And when we asked you if this course was worth your time, you know, worth spending close to, uh, 24 to 30 hours in over, over four weeks, was it worth your time? So it was a overwhelmingly positive re response from all of you, uh, if, as you can see here. And when we asked you about the most interesting part of the course. So there was kind of, uh, you know, uh, very, very close to two points came out uh, very clearly. One was about the course interface, the platform interface, the way it supports you in your learning journey. And second was the ability to interact uh, with everyone, your uh, fellow learners with us. Uh, and, you know, uh, which kind of uh, helped you also understand those concepts uh, in, in depth. And of course, uh, some of you I know were quite um, uh, fascinated and interested uh, by the contest that was ongoing uh, during this during this uh, course. So yes, uh, that was also one of the things that captured your interests and minds. But uh, apart from that, we also asked you some challenges and some of the things that uh, may be improved in the future. So we we take them very seriously. And uh, we will try to improve on some of these things uh, that you have mentioned about, uh, you know, lack of time sometimes to cover all the materials that we are providing you. Uh, and sometimes a, a bit uh, difficult in understanding how the rating is happening. So we will try to make it even more clearer. And at the beginning from the next cohorts and the next courses that we organize, and uh, sometimes, you know, the time when we're organizing the session, uh, that is a bit difficult to uh, resolve, but we will again try our best to uh, hear from everyone and to find uh, a time which is kind of, you know, uh, where everyone is available to, to meet us on Zoom. So I really wanted to show this to you so that you, uh, you, you see that uh, the evaluations that we keep on conducting throughout the course, we take them very seriously and we look look at them, we review them, and then we come back uh, 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 even better the next time when we do this uh, do this course and uh, for the next cohort. Now, uh, quickly moving on, uh, today's agenda. So we will begin with uh, the keynote address by Alexis, Alexis Trader. Uh, she will focus on uh, professionalization of supply chain in the health sector and why lifelong learning is key to improve yourselves and the system where you are working. Uh, after that, uh, we'll take uh, a couple of questions if you have on that, uh, on her uh, on her keynote speech. Uh, if there are any questions, we can ask them. Uh, and then post that, uh, Gilles will take us through uh, to the presentation of certificates. And also we will award the top three learners from the leaderboard. Post that, uh, we will showcase the team reports. So some of you uh, came back, uh, had a discussion, and created two reports, Team Blue and Team Red. We've compiled them, and we want to show that to you again, uh, so that uh, you know you don't you don't forget uh, what you had discussed. And then we will also put them uh, on the hive as well. Uh, and after that, uh, we will show you some of the future activities on the hive. Uh, some of you uh, you reached out to us over emails. You asked us so what else now should we do on the hive? And uh, this is, we want to tell you what is happening in the coming weeks and months uh, so that, you know, you can actively participate and, you know, further your learning uh, yeah, in, this, in this area. Uh, and uh, finally, uh, you know, these are the same things that we talk about uh, in all the sessions. Uh, you can raise your hands if you have a question. Uh, you can then speak. Uh, 
uh, when prompted, or you can ask those questions on chat. Uh, please keep your microphones on mute if you're not speaking. Sometimes there's an echo. Uh, when uh, when we're awarding the certificates, uh, be prepared to speak for one minute when your name is called. Uh, that will be your moment. Uh, you know, we would like to hear from you, your experience of the course and, uh, you know, how you're feeling about this entire experience that you uh, gathered over the last four weeks and, of course, the learning that uh, came along with it. So this is today's agenda. Uh, we'll try to wrap this up in about hour and 20 minutes. Uh, and now uh, I would like to introduce Alexis. Uh, Alexis, uh, we would like to see you as well. So Alexis, uh, she uh, currently works with people that deliver. She's an international development professional with more than a decade of uh, experience with global health programs. Uh, and over the last seven years of her career, she has been working to strengthen health supply chains in low and middle income countries. She's worked in Africa. She's worked uh, in uh, other places as well. Uh, she's worked with several international NGOs like JSI, uh, Population Services International, Dimagi, uh, you know, and a few others in the field of uh, health supply chains. Currently, uh, with people that deliver where she's working, she advises uh, ministries of health, supply chain organizations in low and middle income countries, and working through a coalition of uh, 26 organizations, which are like global organizations where, you know, with whom she coordinates on a day in and day out basis. Uh, and focuses uh, specifically on, uh, you know, improving uh, human resource capability, human resource capacity in health supply chain. Uh, she has an MBA and a master's in international development from American University. Uh, she is quite uh, fluent in French and she is currently based in Copenhagen, Denmark. However, I think she's today, <laughs> now she's uh, joining us from uh, US. So Alexis, over to you. We would like to see you, hear from you. Hi, Sanjay. Can you hear me and see me? Yes, absolutely. Uh, let me stop the screen share so that everyone can see you even clearly. Yeah. Please, over to you now. OK, great. Well, thank you so much for the warm introduction, Sanjay. I really appreciate it. It's so nice to be here with you all. Um, and I'm truly honored uh, to have been invited to speak at your graduation ceremony. Um, so first, I have to congratulate all of you. I know Sanjay already did, we and we clapped, but I just want to clap again for you because you have really accomplished a lot in the past four weeks, and you should be proud of all of the work that you've put in to improving your skills and competencies. It's not easy, as Sanjay said, to juggle your personal life, your professional life, studying, and then on top of all that, we're currently living through a global pandemic. So um, you should certainly be proud of all of you, all that you have done. Um, so. Sanjay gave a little bit of background about me, so thank you for that, Sanjay. But what's not included in my typical bio is actually an interesting fact that many people don't know about me, which is that before I started working in um, public health and public health supply chains, I was actually a teacher. I taught English as a second language, both abroad and in the US, to children, adolescents, and adults. And, and it's not something that I ever thought was relevant to my current work in public health or health supply chains, but I really loved sharing knowledge with students, being in the classroom and seeing people inspired by what I was sharing with them and helping them get to where they wanted to be in their careers or in their lives. Um, and so lately I've been reflecting on this previous experience, which you won't see on my LinkedIn profile or on my CV, but I've realized that in a lot of ways, it's very relevant to what I do today. And I in, have woven in a lot of this experience to all of the work I've done in public health and health supply chains, um, starting with um, training Peace Corps volunteers in contraceptives um, in Mali, and then they taking this information back to their villages to working with, um, NGOs in West Africa teaching people how to build mobile applications for health workers to today where I'm advocating for capacity building for health supply chains. So I think 
this shows my passion for learning and development and how important it is, in my opinion, to be able to constantly be improving your skills and competencies and being the best that you can be in your career. Um, so I just wanna link this to what you all studied and the work that you all are doing. Um, I think most of you realize that um, professional development is extremely important in learning. Otherwise you wouldn't have joined this course. You wouldn't have taken the time to do it. Um, so obviously this is something that's important to you. But what I would like to emphasize is your role in the health supply chain and why it's so important to continue to build your skills and competencies. Um, probably most of you know that up to one third of the world's population has limited access to essential medicines. And really people that deliver the reason why we exist is because we're advocating for the professionalization of the health supply chain workforce, because this is critical to embedding a workforce with the specific skills and competencies in supply chain in the health system. So continuous learning is important because you are working towards making sure that when, when a, a father goes to the pharmacy to get malaria treatment for his son, that they're available. When a person living with HIV needs ARVs, they're available. When a woman who wants to plan her family is looking for contraceptives, she can get them. And so I just want to emphasize that professional development, of course, is important for um, getting your next promotion, having something to celebrate on LinkedIn, putting it on your CV, but it's also working towards improving commodity availability, reducing stockouts, and making sure that people have access to the medicines that they need. Um, in my work, I often talk about no product, no program. And what this really means is health programs can't function without access to a reliable access to quality medicines. So really this is why what you do is so important and every role is important in the health supply chain. Um, so I feel like sometimes people don't give themselves enough credit and they say, oh, well, I don't really have that much of an impact in, in the health supply chain in my community. I only play one role, I have just this job. But honestly, every role is extremely critical because if the supply chain links break down, it doesn't, the supply chain doesn't function. People don't get access to medicines. So this is what I want to emphasize and encourage for you is to take forward the fact that you are, your role in the, in the health system is so very important and thank you for doing what you do. Um, so with that, I want to say, don't stop here. Keep building your skill set and take it even a step further. Start building your career plan and your learning and development plan. I can't emphasize this enough. And don't make it just something where you say, okay, I, I wanna take another course with Be Skilled. Of course, do that. But I want you to think bigger. I want you to plan out the next five to 10 years, figure out I'm in this role, I wanna get here. And how, what do I need to do to reach that goal? And then map it out. You don't have to do this by yourself because um, you're probably thinking, how in the world am I gonna do this? I wouldn't even know where to start or, in my organization, we don't offer any kind of assistance or support in, in building a career path or a learning and development plan. But I'm gonna give you some practical tips to do this so that after today, you can start building your plan and really move forward with action items um, to get you where you wanna be in your supply chain career. Because really, like I said just a minute ago, what you're doing is building your skills and competencies to improve health outcomes. So practical tips. Practical tip number one is um, access free resources. People That Deliver has lots of free resources, but we're not the only ones. And I'll give some examples of things you can use. Um, we recently launched our professionalization framework for supply chain management. It's available on our website and it's free. It's a large package of materials, but I'm just gonna to point to a few that I think would be most helpful uh, for planning your career path. The first is our education framework for supply chain professionals. This maps out all of the different roles in the supply chain and the diplomas, degrees, certification, and training courses that are available to get 
the skills and competencies you need. So what you can do with this is take the education framework, find where you are on it, find where you want to be, and see where are the gaps in terms of your skills and knowledge. What programs can you participate in to really get your CV to the point where you're ready for that promotion and moving up in the supply chain? Another um, resource that I think would be useful for you is our collection of roles and job descriptions. Um, Yes, of course, you already have job descriptions where you're working, but what this can be used for is a performance management tool. So what's included in these job descriptions, which if you take a look, they're very extensive, um, but uh, they include behavioral competencies necessary for the role, um, technical competencies, as well as key performance indicators. So what you can do with these is, as you're preparing for your next performance review, you're probably going to want to ask for a pay rise at least, right? And so you wanna build the justification for that. So start perhaps if you can, incorporating some key performance indicators into these evaluations or talk with your supervisor about doing this. It doesn't necessarily mean changing the whole HR system in your organization, but perhaps adding a little bit to it in terms of showing real concrete ways that you have um, moved the needle in terms of your performance at work. So um, happy to talk about that more and you can always reach out to me if you'd like and um, I can share with you those materials or you can visit the PTD website. Um, in addition to the vast array of resources and there are quite a few also on the Be Skilled website um, is building your network. I recommend as tip number two, build your network. Sanjay already talked about getting engaged in the hive. This is an excellent community of practice where you can really engage with your peers. And don't be afraid to reach out if you have questions, you're looking for resources, or you just want to network and have a chat with someone that you admire or that you've seen. And stay in touch with the folks in this group because these are your peers and your network and they're really gonna help you as you go along in your career. Um, another good resource in addition to the Hive is the International Association for Public Health Logisticians. This is a free um, uh, professional association that you can join. It has over 8,000 members and they're from all over the world, um, low and middle income countries included, but really everywhere. And it's a very active network of supply chain professionals. And you'll see if you join or if you're already a member that people reach out when they need answers to questions or resources. During COVID-19, they have been asking for um, quick emergency forecasting tools, access to guidance on um, vaccine storage, all kinds of things. So it's really an excellent way to stay connected and up to date with the latest in your um, sector. So um, I recommend that you join if you're not already a member. And then there are quite a few other um, relevant supply chain groups and I'm sure there may be some locally uh, where you are. Um, my third recommendation is um, consider mentorship. And this is part of leveraging your network because Career development and learning and development isn't just about training. Training is important, but it's just one component of a whole uh, world of different uh, options that you have. Um, and when I say mentorship, I don't necessarily mean that you are um, you find a mentor, but you can also be a um, mentor someone else, a peer or a more junior colleague of yours. Both are enriching experiences, and don't wait for someone to approach you um, to mentor you. I can tell you from personal experience that some of the best advice I've ever received in my career came from mentors. And these were mentors that I had, that I asked to mentor me. I reached out, I said, you know, I enjoy working with you. Do you have time to meet with me for 20 minutes, once a month to give me career advice? And they said, yes. Sometimes they may say no, but it doesn't hurt to ask. And just taking that step and showing that initiative will convince them that you really are serious about getting career advice and, and doing and mentoring. And in terms of mentoring someone else, this is just as enriching for the person who's mentoring as it is the mentee, which is why I always recommend it. I have mentored um, more junior uh, colleagues and I learned so much from the experience. So 
yes, everyone is busy, but I think for the most part, we can manage to set aside 20 minutes once a month to talk to a mentee. So please consider that as another way to build your um, to build your skill set. Um, the last recommendation I'm going to give to you all is to attend a conference. Um, in many cases, people say, oh, a conferences are very expensive. I, there's no way I can afford it. It's true. Most of the time, conferences are extremely expensive. Even for those that are targeting um, participants in low and middle income countries, there's a registration fee you have to pay for travel. And I, I understand this. But there are opportunities for scholarships to attend these conferences. And you can work with your mentor to write the application for these scholarships. And being a member of the Hive and IAPHL and other professional networks are how you're going to find out about these scholarship opportunities to conferences. And the reason why I say conferences are so important is that this is a place for you to get exposed to new ideas and professionals working in your area of expertise where you can see presentations, meet people, have conversations. And it's really an opportunity to be energized and inspired about the work that you do. Because sometimes I think we feel alone in the supply chain world. We're managing our warehouse and we really don't get to interact with anybody else in this field. But conferences are a good chance to say, oh, I'm not alone. There are other people like me who do what I do. Um, so definitely uh, consider that as, a, as another option for you. So those are my practical tips. I hope you wrote them down. And, and now I'm going to go to my ask because part of these practical tips comes with an ask, a caveat. And that is, please share your knowledge. Please share your knowledge with your colleagues and your network. Why is this important? It's important because not everybody has the opportunity that you've had to participate in this course and other courses for whatever reason. It may be financial, it may be because they have other um, you know, issues where they just don't have time or access to this, but it can really be benefit your team. You're not working alone in your organization and the success of your team means the success of you and your career. Um, you know, they always say there's no I in team, but I would like you to think about how you can support your team members because ultimately your performance is evaluated, not just individually, but oftentimes, and this is becoming more and more frequent, you're being evaluated as a team in terms of the, your performance in your job. So why not take advantage to share a few resources and opportunities with your colleagues? Uh, I'll give you an example. Um, perhaps you attended a webinar recently that you found very informative. Why not jot down a couple of the key points from the webinar? If the recording link was shared, capture that. Send a quick email to your colleagues and just say, hey, I, I attended this webinar. I thought it was really interesting. Thought you might be interested too. Here are the key points. Check out the recording if you want to learn more. It doesn't take a lot of effort and they'll be very appreciative for you sharing. And you look good in front of your bosses too, so that always helps. Um, another way you can share, and I always emphasize this, if you do get an opportunity to attend a conference or an event, make sure that when you come back, you hold a debriefing session with your team. Because obviously not everybody is able to attend a conference. It's such a privilege. Um, so why not, while you're attending the conference, take a few notes, take a few pictures. They'd, I'm sure they would love to see them. But what, what were the key takeaways that you got from from this experience? What resources did you learn about that you think would be useful in your work? Um, and then plan a meeting with your colleagues to share this and let them know um, what you got out of the conference. You can even talk about what you didn't like about the conference um, and just make it about, you know, what it what your feedback for this experience, because they'll be very interested to hear. You may think, oh, my colleagues don't have time. They're not interested. Schedule it during lunch or you know, maybe go out, have um, a tea break and talk about it then. Um, you can make it fit in your, in your work situation if, if you want. So um, please uh, definitely consider sharing your knowledge whenever possible and promoting any new resources and tools that you become, um, that you, you come across in, in your professional development journey. So um, a quick recap on my key points. First point is 
you play a critical role in the health supply chain. I advocate for the professionalization of the health workforce because we think it, you have critical skills and competencies that are necessary for the health system. Nobody else can do what you do. So keep that in mind as you go forward. Build and plan your career path. I gave you practical tips on how to do it. You've got Sanjay and Gilles and the Be Skilled team to support you. So um, you have no reason not to start now. And um, make sure to share the wealth, share knowledge with your colleagues. They'll be grateful and you'll benefit from it too. So thanks again for the opportunity to speak today and um, congratulations again on your accomplishments. Thank you so much, Alexis. Uh, these were uh, some real uh, gem of points uh, that you have shared uh, with the learners. I hope uh, all of you, you have uh, either written them down or, uh, you know, kind of noted them in your head so that, you know, you can think about them uh, later and reflect on these points. These are some very important, crucial points that Alexis has shared uh, with respect to uh, your career, with respect to, uh, you know, your work, which means a lot uh, to your society, to your country and uh, people at large everywhere. So thank you so much, Alexis. It was great hearing from you, your experiences and uh, the kind of work that you have been doing at People That Deliver. Um, so moving on, if there are any questions that you want to ask Alexis, uh, this is the time. Uh, if there are some questions about some resources or you need to, you want to know a bit more about uh, her work and people that deliver, please do ask. Uh, we have about a uh, couple of minutes. Uh, Gilles, I'm not able to see the chat for some reason. Uh, can you please uh, see to that? Uh, yeah, I see that uh, Prince Lee is uh, congratulating, congratulating Alexis for uh, motivating uh, everyone. So those are some of the, the comments uh, which are which are coming uh, coming up. Um, yeah, thank you for the presentation from Barbara. Uh, motivate and encourage everyone. Uh, so yeah, thank you. I think uh, Alexis uh, first of all. Hi, Alex. Uh, bonjour. And uh, yeah, I think it was really great to hear uh, to hear from you uh, because I think not only it's motivational and inspirational, but it's also very, very, very practical. So, so I guess that's really a, a real, a real plus for this, uh, for this, uh, for this community. Any any specific questions from uh, from someone, particularly on uh, those uh, resources, on uh, the practicalities of uh, engaging and networking. Um, uh, Sanjay, Sanjay shared uh, the link uh, to the uh, People Deliver website. You can access a lot of the information that Alexis uh, mentioned. So you can access that. Uh, it's shared again. So thank you, thank you again, uh, Sanjay. Yes, yeah, the recording of this in, of this uh, um, intervention uh, will be shared. But if there are any other questions, please. Uh, uh, okay, I mean, can suggesting that we should share also uh, maybe some. Uh, uh, media handles, phone numbers, or I don't know, probably uh, WhatsApp numbers or these kind of things. Uh, I think please feel free to share that on the Hive. Uh, you know, you can connect uh, directly with people, ask for connection. Uh, I don't think we can share this kind of information, you know, in a global manner, but uh, if you ask for a connection in the Hive, uh, ask, ask for it. The best way to do it. Thanks, Alexis, for further opening our eyes on the career path uh, that lies before us. Thanks again. Okay, thank you. A lot of thanks, uh, Alexis. And indeed, yeah, I think uh, thank you, Alexis, because first, uh, coming from a, a teacher's point of view, uh, you know, giving us this uh, this perspective uh, is is very important, and uh, we will try to make sure that. Uh, you know, we provide opportunities for learning, which are, uh, you know, 
beyond professional, beyond beyond, we're not really uh, excellent uh, career. But as you as you describe it, it's also uh, the intention that uh, the learner will uh, will will have when they start on this uh, on this learning pathway, and it's really a, a learning pathway as you as you describe it. You you start a journey, and you have those several uh, milestones in this in this journey. And uh, of course, uh, uh, we believe that you know the hive is a, is, a, is an important it's an important milestone. We also, of course, recognize that it's not the only one, and we really want to to, to collaborate and work with others uh, to make sure that uh, you know you have most possible choices. And uh, the point that uh, that uh, that you've raised about uh, accessing as many. Uh, uh, accessing as many resources as possible, especially the free resources which are available, like people that deliver on others. Um, uh, networking, uh, when you have opportunities to network, either the Hive or the IAPHL or other networks is, is very important. As a mentorship approach, uh, yeah, I think that, that's great. And you know, of course, uh, the conference, all those elements about networking is, is great. Share your knowledge. Um, um, Maybe to make the transition to the next point, uh, really, this is really what we what we had in mind when we started uh, uh, Be Skilled. You know, when I want uh, to present Be Skilled in a very short and quick manner, I always insist on two elements. Uh, one element is the learning uh, pillar, so it's uh, acquiring knowledge, acquiring content. Uh, that's the first one, and the second one is the community of practice. Uh, it's like you know this uh, knowledge management. Uh, where you have uh, uh, a lot of people with uh, experience, with expertise, who can share uh, this knowledge uh, on, a, on the platform. But it can also be, of course, at a conference. It can be on a webinar. It can be uh, on various uh, network which are available. So really, those two elements uh, for us are very important. And that's why I was very happy a bit earlier when uh, Sanjay showed uh, us you know, the feedback of the, uh, of, of the course participants where the two elements which are, which are coming back is, uh, yes, uh, the facilities of the platform, the platform. Uh, learning management system, the LMS interface. So that's really one thing that people appreciated and we are happy that uh, it works. And the other one is, uh, is the peer-to-peer -peer learning. And really this peer-to-peer -peer is, uh, is something that needs, uh, that needs really to happen as much as, as possible. Uh, we feel that to collaborate, to work together, uh, to network together, there's one thing which is very important is a common uh, language. A common language and understanding uh, the words that we all use when we talk about supply chain, when we talk about procurement. The best example being a lead time. If we don't understand, not everyone understands what a lead time is, when does it start and when it ends, then you will always have a, a big issue to, to communicate not only within the supply chain function, but between the supply chain function and other functions. You know, clear role and responsibilities. That's uh, one thing that Alexis uh, mentioned about accessing, you know, those uh, those uh, various job description which are possible, which are which are available. You know, who is responsible for what? Uh, if we if we take one element we discuss, which is the, the forecasting element. When does forecasting start? Who is in charge for forecasting? Who has the final word on a quantity that needs to be procured and the date and the place uh, where it has and when it has to be, to be to be delivered? So really this element of sharing the same perspective and using a common language is, is, is I know that that's, and I'm very happy to see that there is a, a, a close relationship, you know, between those various uh, initiatives that Alexis mentioned, uh, and, and one of them is, you know, uh, with, be, between be skilled and 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 uh, people that deliver. Uh, there is a, a common uh, recognition, and I mean, and, and uh, we uh, as uh, uh, in, in be skilled have been a lot inspired uh, by the work which has been done. Uh, our predecessors, of course, uh, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in uh, people that deliver. And, and we hope to, to seek for, for a common uh, language. So now we are moving to the, to the, to, to, to the next uh, session, uh, having said that, and uh, looking really at the, at the element of the, um, 
of the of the course and uh, the uh, the purpose of this meeting today which is uh, really working on the certificate so um, we are going to 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 um, to give and to award uh, the certificate of achievement. So those are certificate of achievement. It's not a certificate of a course participation. Uh, it's uh, of or even course completion. It's a certificate of a successful uh, completion. Uh, so you can see the final scores. Uh, depending on the final scores, uh, you have uh, various uh, uh, grade uh, in the in the in the certificate of. Uh, uh, successful completion of the course, which means that uh, if you are below a certain grade, uh, a certain score, uh, the uh, course is not, uh, the certificate is not awarded. Um, particularly, so the, 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 the score that you can see, the percentage which you can see, are a mix of uh, the score of the grades that you have acquired uh, as a continuous uh, mark throughout the, the weeks, over the four weeks, and it's also uh, take a percentage uh, as a percentage of the final mark you've done in the, in the, as the final, um, and as the final exams that you've all uh, taken. So just a few things about this, uh, th those certification. Again, so this is certification of achievement. It's based on marks. Uh, an evaluation which have been done in a very transparent and uh, continuous manner. Uh, it's certified by the CPD certification service. Uh, the CPD certification service is, uh, uh, I think, started to be funded in the 90s. So it's a 30 years old, uh, 30 year old uh, uh, certification institute which is based in the UK and which is certifying courses from many prestigious organizations uh, like the Cambridge University, but also uh, from a lot of uh, world uh, uh, famous, uh, you know, private organization, whether in uh, the field of learning and teaching or even, you know, uh, big uh, companies who want to certify internally their, their, their staff. So uh, again, uh, it's uh, performance based. Uh, it's based, the attribution of the certificate is based on, on, the, on, the, on the, um, the successful completion of the course. Uh, it's very clear about what are the course outcomes and topics. So if you, if you show the certificate of achievement, it's not a very generic uh, element. It's something which is very specific and the outcomes and the topics which are uh, um, approached and that you've successfully completed are listed in a very uh, complete manner. And again, each certificate has a unique ID, so it's not a, a generic uh, certificate that you all have. It's something which one number, which is your own uh, certification. Uh, sorry, Gilles. So let's move. Uh, yes. Gilles, let me interrupt you. Uh, can you be a bit louder? I think uh, sometimes your voice is fading uh, a bit. Thank you. Okay, let me try to speak uh, louder. Sorry for that. I know my connection is not uh, the best either. Uh, I've tried to find the best connection possible I could get in Dakar, but uh, fortunately, uh, I didn't succeed as much as I could. So maybe the next, uh, on the next slide, we'll be able to look at uh, the famous uh, board, uh, the famous leaderboard. And uh, we have to congratulate everyone, of course, uh, everyone uh, who has uh, participated and who can see their name on uh, the leaderboard, but particularly, of course, to uh, the three uh, leaders who are uh, Nunzele, Nikila Deriba, and John Argon. Uh, or uh, mostly uh, so for the three uh, leaders we know it's been uh, it's been uh, a real challenge. Probably, uh, some people are really, you know appreciated uh, uh, tough in negotiation to get uh, the point but I think uh, you know the, it's been Um, sorry, Gilles, you are cutting off in between. Are you still there? Yeah, I'm still there. Sorry. I think I 
maybe uh, I, I guess we can try with your video off for some time so that at least we can hear you. Oh, I was personal, personal in that, uh, Sanjay. <laughs> let's let's proceed. Yes, thank you. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, loud and clear. Thank you. Please, let's proceed. Yes. Okay, let's move to the to the next one. So we'll go to the one by one. Uh, let's move to the one by one uh, distribution of the of the um, of the certificate, please. We'll look at the first three one, and uh, then uh, so the first one. Uh, uh, Nunzele Alvin uh, Yensinkem. So thank you. Congratulations for uh, for your uh, achievement. Uh, you have a final grade, which is A, uh, and um, for having uh, completed uh, as uh, number one, there is a, a series of, uh, of uh, I don't know how to say it, uh, uh, some, some bonus, uh, some free, some, some uh, Sorry, <laughs> I'm not getting uh, oh, you know, yes. price. <laughs> Sorry, yes. prices. Sorry, I don't get uh, some prices that you are uh, being awarded. So the first prize is two online courses. You know, one about speaking ethically and managing teamwork. So you'll be awarded. Uh, you'll be able to access those two courses from uh, the Arapa uh, Training Center. Those are online courses. Uh, they are recognized also as very effective. Uh, we've uh, all uh, taken them, and maybe I should take a, a bit more of uh, speaking effectively. Uh, <laughs> but uh, please, you know, you'll, you'll be you'll be awarded that, and uh, I'm sure uh, you'll you'll get benefit from it. Uh, the other prize for uh, the first uh, uh, for the top of the for the number one on, on the leaderboard is the Scribd. Uh, is a one month subscription to Scribd. Scribd is uh, an application that allows you to access. Uh, online content, mostly books, but also a variety of uh, resources uh, if you want to uh, increase uh, your knowledge or have access to various sessions. And uh, the third prize, uh, the third uh, but not the least, is uh, a free access to collective learning certificate uh, of supply chain for health. So this is the next uh, supply chain uh, for health course which is really about digging, digging into the enabling functions of the supply chain. Um, so you'll have uh, access to this full, full course. Uh, the dates and everything will be uh, shared with you a bit, uh, a bit after. I don't know, uh, Nunzele, if you want to, to share some words with us now, please, uh, that would be for you uh, to, to, to speak. Yeah, Nidzele, over to you. Greetings, everyone. Hey. <laughs> I just wish to say I'm so, so happy for all that I have learned from the hive. Indeed, I'm just so grateful. I don't just know what to say, but all I can say is that I'm just so happy because my knowledge has not remained the same as it was. It was. I am able now to understand why so that what supply chain is all about. And as I carry on my day-to-day -day activities, I, I make sure that I'm able to implement what I've learned from the hive. I just wish to say I'm happy then. I, I'm also happy for my rewards. I'm just so grateful. I accept it with a lot of joy. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you, thank you very much, uh, Nundele. And indeed, really a uh, big, big congratulation. Uh, you know, I don't want to enter into a, a gender uh, challenge. We've had enough challenge with Team Red, Team Blue, you know, the leaderboard and things like that. But uh, I have my own perception of uh, you know, which gender uh, is, uh, carries the most uh, potential for supply chain. So uh, I'll, I'll, stay, I'll stay there and, and I won't go further. But really, congratulations. It's a real pleasure to see you, um, uh, to, to, have, to have you, to have you, to, you know, to, to, have, to see you where you are now and uh, to have been able to work with you throughout uh, the courses. So we'll go now to the number 
part two, uh, which is Bikila Deriba uh, Ragasa. Uh, Bikila, congratulations. Congratulations for making it uh, as uh, number two. Um, as part of the prices that you'll get uh, on the second price for the leaderboard is uh, an online course for managing teamwork uh, by Araba Education and also uh, a one month uh, subscription uh, to Script. So again, uh, congratulations. Bikila, I don't know if you want to, can, can we hear from you? Can we hear uh, a few words from you, please? Lisa, it's, it's not a choice. Uh, everyone has to speak. <laughs> Jill, it's not a choice. <laughs> Bikila, we wish to hear from you. Bikila? You are muted. Hello? Yes, we can hear you. Yes, please go on. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, yes, please go on. Yes. Okay. First, uh, thank you, all of you. Uh, I have uh, on road, I'm going to home at this time. Uh, I have gained more. Uh, uh, regarding of public health, more knowledge. Uh, I'm happy by one at what I've gained on uh, B skills. Now uh, I expect. And um, um, hello, hello. Yes, please go. Keep going on, Bikila. We can hear you. That's why I'm on the road. Yeah, disturbing sounding. Hmm. Uh, thank you all of you. Congratulations. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Bikila. Thank you for making it uh, to the top uh, of the board. Congratulations. Uh, again, also, pleasure to work uh, with you. Can we hear from uh, John Richard Gum? So, John Richard Gum, you are number three on the leaderboard. Uh, as a third prize, uh, you're getting a course from uh, Arapa Education. Uh, it's a pleasure on, for uh, me to be here. Please. Please go ahead, John. John Richard, can you can can we hear you? Good evening, everyone. Uh, it's a pleasure for me to be part of this program tonight. Uh, I want to be so grateful to be here for this opportunity given, opportunity given me um, to showcase the potential in me and celebrating success tonight with course. I dedicate this a huge success to all the team members, my classmates, and to our course instructors at the Hive. I, I, I must say, that for all my years, in the, this game just jump started my career. And, and, and when I go by what Alexis is saying, put together is like, we, we just, laid a foundation here and and i'm end stopping at nothing i'm going to go forward and and and, and, and empower myself more so as to be able to influence this back in my country i'm also here that in, in the past enough and they tell me that I'm, I'm, I'm not that serious because I am not in contact with the patient. I felt bad. But with the concept of the last mile that I just learned here, it is, it, is, it is making me go back and confess that they were right when they told me that I was acting like I never had contact with the patient. And so having graphs particularly 
particularly the concept of the last mic, it put me on the pedestal to be able to move forward from here with this knowledge so that at each and every step of my work at the supply chain, my focus is the patient. Everything I'll be doing henceforth is geared towards meeting the patient's need. And I'm sure that my career will, I'm sure that I will not be able to have come thus far. And I, I, I pray that these people go ahead and empower more people and, and, and so that many more people will be able to influence systems so that medicines will be much more available to, to, to the local communities the world over. Uh, I'm so full of gratitude to everyone on the forum here. And thank you so much. Thank you so much. And I'm also so thankful for the opportunity given me again to be able to partake in another course. I want to say this deal. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, John Grisha. And um, congratulations for the three of you who've made it to the top of the leaderboard. Now we are going to go through uh, one by one. There is no more, uh, no more prices uh, from here, uh, but maybe for the next uh, time. So uh, let's go to the, next, uh, to the next one. And it's coming in alphabetical order. So there is no, no other classification in the way uh, those uh, certificate of achievement of uh, successful completion of the courses are being uh, distributed now. So uh, could we hear from you, Aoudounou Tarfa, please, and congratulations. Um, good afternoon, everyone. Good evening and good morning. I hope you can hear me. Yes, yes loud and clear. OK. I really want to thank you, especially B Skill, for the opportunity given unto me to participate and then to learn a lot, especially from our colleagues as well. So I really had a wonderful moment and time learning from you guys. And I, I think even though I expect to be part of those people, but you know, I actually didn't make it, but uh, I really appreciate the, um, the things that I got to learn. So I really thank you, everyone. And I hope maybe we are going to meet someday, somewhere, especially to Sanjay. Maybe I will come and meet you in <laughs> India one day. So thank you very much. And I think I would like to know possibly um, the state where Gilles is, you know, I don't know his country and then Andrea, but I guess uh, probably, no, I would like to know. So thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Uh, just to mention, be careful uh, in the country where uh, Sanjay and Andrea are, as are tigers also. And if you come to my country in France, no, you'll only have pastries and food and these kind of things, no tigers. So please, you're welcome anytime. <laughs> uh, we proceed with uh, Barbara, Barbara, uh, Merlin Bonny, Barbara, who joined us from uh, very far uh, throughout the course. Please, can we hear from you, Barbara? Um, I, I will try to speak, but I have... Barbara, sorry, we are not able to hear you. Internet I don't know what. Yes, Barbara, the line is uh, very, very, very difficult. Okay, maybe we can come back to her, Barbara, if uh, maybe we can try uh, a bit later to hear from so you. So I have some issues with the. Okay. Congratulations, Barbara. Uh, yeah. I was mentioning you earlier, you were not there. Uh, you were one of the active, uh, one of the most active participants throughout the course. So uh, very con many congratulations to you. Gilles, uh, over to you. Yes, let's, uh, let's proceed. Uh, proceed. And the next one is uh, 
Shamini uh, Karuna Ratme, please. Uh, Shamini, can we hear from you? Hi, everyone. Hi, Shamini. Uh, yes. Uh, I would like to, first of, uh, first of all, I would like to thank the lecturers and the colleagues from HAI, and I really enjoyed throughout the course. Actually, I'm the one who, uh, I think a uh, few people is not, uh, not directly related to the public health, but I also from the private sector, but I really, uh, the way the lecturers, the way you teach us, they really motivate me to learn more, even in the health sector in Sri Lanka. Before that, I I didn't have in the I didn't concern about that, but now I'm really enthusiastic, interesting to uh, find exploring about that. Actually, uh, that is uh, so. Uh, looking forward to meet uh, everyone uh, uh, somewhere sometime, and thank you so much. Congratulations, Shamini. Uh, really, really great, great work. Yes, thank you. And, uh, you know, it's good also to have a diverse profile uh, when we do those courses because, you know, since we insist on peer learning and everyone's contribution, it's good to have diverse uh, perspectives. So thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, next one is uh, Kalkidan Endeshaw. So please, Kalkidan, can you, can you... I'm not uh, sure she is here. She's not in? Okay. I'm no, not sure. Okay. Maybe we can come back uh, to her if she joins later. Let's move to uh, Ken Frey. Ken Frey Mutuma. Ken Frey. Um, thank you very much, everyone. Um, I am very delighted today to be part of this ceremony. Um, let me say, I, it has been a very enjoyable journey of learning. Um, like one of the previous speakers, I said, um, I fought very hard to emerge at least on the top three, but um, uh, my other colleagues uh, out, <laughs> out with me or outsmarted me, and uh, much congratulations to them. Um, Yes, I and um, it's a, it's a it's a it's a great accomplishment for me and um, many thanks to the B skill team and uh, also my peers from the different countries. Um, it was a very oh enriching. Um, uh, the most remarkable thing is that uh, in 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 the learning that took place. Um, Let's say I had some knowledge on supply chain, but uh, it was fragmented. And this course was a very organized way of delivering uh, content and filling the gaps or the holes that were, um, were in the skills that I thought I had. So there was a lot of learning, a lot of consolidation of ideas. And I believe this will propel me to the next level in my career. And also they will enhance my productivity even at my workplace and uh, thank you very much everyone bye thank you thank you very much Kim Frey. I think what you're saying is uh, really uh, touching me because really what we really hope to do with those courses is to give a sense to make sure that every little piece uh, of knowledge or activities, is kind of uh, taking sense in the bigger picture. So uh, it's not always easy to, on one side, deliver specific technical content and also give this kind of broad uh, vision. So thank you for mentioning that because it's really something we're trying to achieve. Oh, and, and I might say I, I really enjoyed um, um, the animations, the cartoon, sorry, yeah. and um, uh, Mr. Gilles' uh, accent. <laughs> <laughs> it's very interesting. <laughs> it's Gilles, isn't it? Yeah, Gilles. Gilles. Yeah. Uh, oh, there, there is one rule. On, there is one rule on the hive. Uh, can Frey, we don't talk about accent. You know, <laughs> that's one thing. Sorry, Nobody, sorry, <laughs> my bad. <laughs> <I'm joking. laughs> 
<laughs> well, you know, we all come, we all come with our accents, so you know, it's yeah. not, uh, it's not. Uh, so we, we also have the message from Barbara. She is very sorry. Her internet is not very good today. But uh, she has uh, uh, wrote a message for everyone saying that she has uh, got a broader and uh, broader picture of health supply chain, uh, which, uh, which will help her understanding the support that uh, at UNFP they're providing for the Ministry of Health. So congratulations to Barbara as well and to Ken Free. So Jill, over to you. Yes, thank you. So uh, moving on now, um, next one is uh, Oluwa Pelumi uh, Azeola. So Azeola, can you can we hear from you? Are you with us uh, today? I'm not sure you're with us. Yeah, uh, I'm not no. sure. I guess we can come back again if, if he joins okay. in. Let's uh, let's move on. Um, Princely, Princely, Fopong, uh, Gemo. Princely, can we hear from you? Greetings, greetings. Greetings, greetings to everybody. Greetings to everyone on the hive. It's, it's been a pretty much time of work, and today we are celebrating our success. We have to say we are grateful to God for giving us the energy to work together as bees on the hive to make things work for one another collectively. And I will also say congratulations to everybody who made it at the end, especially the first three, and you know, two came from Team Cameroon, which is very, very interesting. And we are happy about that. Actually, I've learned so much in as much as supply chain management is concerned with the effort from be skilled. And I would like to also say that actually, I did not know that there was something like forecasting, but I heard forecasting and how to do the calculations which actually I have to go a long way to implement that in the setting where I am. I equally want to say that last my delivery is the problem back home in Cameroon, especially in the Northwest and the Southwest regions where there is an issue with the crisis there. And from my research, I noticed that people in Kambe, they are having problems with last my delivery because of the war going on there. But I believe that the people who are working in the pharmaceutical distribution sector there, they are able to put everything together to see that those in the hinterlands get the right products at the right time. I was equally able to learn from this skill that there is a distribution network in as much as products, in as much as finances and information are concerned, which has given me the room to you know, like research to see how it is in my own country, Cameroon which I was able to get the information in the right source equally. And uh, I've learned so much on this skill, and I believe that many opportunities will come up again on the hive for us to actually go into it and interact more and more. It has not ended here. This is the foundation of our career. And we will go a long way to establish more courses that will help us to actually develop us in our career development, just like how I, Alexis said it in our discussions. And lastly, I want to be grateful to Mr. Four Wilson, who shared this vision with us and everybody bought it. And here we are today celebrating a certificate in supply chain. It is something that is not common in Cameroon, but today we are celebrating it. And when people hear supply chain management, they are like, wow, what is that? What is it all about? So I believe that many more will come onto, uh, come, onto a, come to the hive from Cameroon and they will equally learn as we have gone through this process of learning like this. Thank you so much, Sanjay. Thank you so much, Gibbs. Thank you so much, everyone, for collective learning. Kudos. Congratulations to everyone. Congratulations, be skilled. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Prince Lee. And uh, we watch that uh, Cameroon space uh, we, we are getting ready for you.
Princely is very smart. At the end, he has changed his team to Team Cameroon. <laughs> Moving on. Very good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, let's move to uh, Rahul Shandi Philip. Uh, are you here? Yes, it's Thai. I'm here. Hi, Hi Rahul. How are you? All right. uh, I'm good. Thank you. Uh, so I would like to start off, uh, as mentioned, I would really like to thank uh, Team Reskill uh, and also all of my fellow cohorts. Uh, congrats to you all. This has been a great opportunity for me. Uh, I'm sorry, am I audible? Yes, yes, yes. please. Loud and clear, please. Yeah, so, sorry for that. Yeah, so uh, I, I was very, I felt very awkward initially when I did come into course because I felt being from the private sector and being among too many, too many people who have years of experience, I would be kind of an audit. I have to say that all of you made me feel uh, so much comfortable and I felt quite honored that I was able to be amongst so many experienced professionals. Uh, I was able to see the context of various topics uh, in the discussions that we put forward and the discussions that we had and uh, that was really eye-opening for me. Uh, I did learn a lot, but I'm not sure when I can put them to use. Uh, someday, I really hope that I can start working in the public health sector. And seeing the uh, testimonies of all the people spoken ahead of me and everything that has been detailed in the group, I, I know for a fact that all this will definitely come into use uh, as and when I get the opportunity to start working in the sector. Uh, as also advised by Alexis, I really look forward to uh, drawing my career path and networking to the best. And really hope that we I mean, are able to put forward the idea that we can was trying to achieve for us together collectively. Uh, thank you all once again. I really appreciate the support you have provided and uh, thank you for uh, allowing me to be a part of this collective hive. Thank you, thank you uh, very much, uh, Rahul. And uh, yes, it was uh, great to have you. Again, as we mentioned uh, a bit earlier, people from coming from diverse uh, perspective, diverse, diverse background. So I'm sure it, it was a, a, a good learning curve uh, for you. So really, thank you very much uh, for making it. Uh, moving on to the next one, uh, Tata Stefan Four. Um, please, can we hear also? Uh, from you, please. Good evening to everyone. Good evening and congratulations. Congratulations for being here. Uh, on this, Thank you. Uh, this, uh, Thank session. you so much. Um, uh, I'm sorry, uh, uh, Tata, we have uh, by mistake muted you. Can you unmute yourself and and John Richard, uh, there is a, a static coming from your mic, so if you can mute yourself. Uh, Tata Stephen, please go on. Good evening to everyone. Thank you. Thank you. The, uh, go ahead. This here has actually improved my knowledge in the supply chain. And one of the things is that I have a bigger clue on how supply chain in the public health actually goes and right to the last mile delivery. And I appreciate it so much because this has actually improved my, my knowledge on how to be able to take care of even the clients who come to the hospital during emergency, during disaster, and other situations in, in the healthcare uh, system. Thank you. I have learned one thing about the flow of products, flow of information, and flow of finances. And that is one of the biggest thing that I think I have learned in supply chain. Meanwhile, I only knew about how drugs will leave from the central warehouse to the client. So thank you so much. Thank you for everyone who participated in the collective learning certificate. 
I'm happy to be part of you. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you very much, uh, uh, to that, Stephen, and uh, thank you and congratulations for uh, this uh, certificate of achievement. Uh, moving on to uh, Tadele Aweko Belashu. Uh, can we hear from you, uh, Tadele, please? Tadele is dressed for the occasion. Tadele, we'd like to see you as well. Yeah, we see you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Can you hear me, please? Yes, please go on. We can hear you. Uh, thank you for giving this chance uh, for me and uh, to be part of the training and also to be part of this uh, graduation ceremony. I'm really feeling that uh, I am graduating together with you all in your house. So I'm so much uh, glad. Uh, uh, though I have uh, plenty experiences uh, working in the public health supply chain system uh, at different levels of uh, in Tepa. Uh, I have worked in the primary health care unit, health centers, hospitals. I have worked at IPSA and I have also worked at uh, international NGOs and I'm currently working in Ministry of Health Tepa. But from this course, I get a lot, a lot, a lot, uh, which, uh, which is really helpful for my next work in in my country, especially to improve the uh, health supply chain system. Uh, thank you all. Uh, I'm so much honored to be part of this collective learning uh, course. And uh, really, I appreciate the learning platform for me. Uh, I, I'm, I'm honest that it's the first of its kind. And it's my uh, first experience of learning uh, such a beautiful and uh, helpful courses and enjoyable uh, moments uh, to get supply chain uh, knowledge and uh, experience from different uh, uh, colleagues. I learned a lot from the course itself. I learned it uh, from instructors uh, and also learners from different countries of the uh, world, I can say that. And I'm sure we are now friends. And uh, I, I, I really sh share and uh, uh, love the experiences from uh, friends who are learners and uh, from the uh, instructors during the classroom discussions, group discussions, and that was really incredible for me. Uh, I have learned really new things, uh, as I said before, which is very helpful to improve uh, the health supply chain system in, in my country, Ethiopia. Proud to be connected with you uh, all guys uh, and uh, proud to be connected with health supply chain professionals, instructors through the B-Skilled Hive. And uh, I'm so much uh, happy for uh, connected with, with you. I, I want to say congratulations, B-Skilled family, uh, especially Sanja, Gilles and Andrea. And thank you for your unreserved support uh, during uh, our course. And congratulations, learners. And, uh, you know, uh, I want to congratulate the three of the uh, leaders uh, from the learners and hope we will be uh, connected uh, for the future. And thank you, really, to appreciate it. Be skilled. Uh, and uh, lastly, I want to uh, thank uh, uh, our uh, guest uh, Alexis and thank you for your uh, inspirational uh, speech and that's really touching for me uh, really uh, uh, it doesn't need you know much money much time to be connected and to uh, share our experiences but uh, we have learned a lot thank you uh, for listening to me and congratulations again over to you Thank you, thank you. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Tadele. Um, I'm a second general. Um, I should not be trying to speak. Uh, exactly, I'm a second 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 Learn how to say congratulations. I, I can say I'm a second very easily. <laughs> yeah, yes. Yeah. You can't say that too. I, I should not try to speak uh, America. I should leave that to Sanjay, who is really the, the champion. 
for me, it's really what I can say is Eshi, Eshi, Eshi. So thank you. Thank you very much, really, and congratulations for, for all the, the work you've, you've achieved and congratulations for this certificate. So thank you. Thank you for your participation. You know, uh, it's all of you uh, in this platform who are making, uh, you know, the real uh, honey uh, of the platform. So, you know, the hive with no honey, with no bees is not a hive. So really, uh, thank you, thank you for that, everyone. Uh, moving on to um, uh, moving on to Tank, uh, Tanko Aaron uh, Genuine. Uh, please, uh, Tanko Aaron, can you can you can you a few words uh, while you receive uh, this big achievement? Hello, good evening to everyone. Yeah, I'm so thankful to, to God Almighty and to the BC for this for this collective learning that they have made an opportunity for me to learn. In fact, I must confess that I have learned so many things. Uh, BC, they have opened my knowledge. You see that they, I have much to learn. So I'm so grateful for this collective learning and I'm so thankful to my to everyone in the house. So I am so grateful. I have achieved a lot. I have learned a lot in this in this, especially in the area of information flow, finance flow, and uh, and many other things. So I'm so grateful. I have learned so many things at my first time. Thank you very, very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much, Tanko uh, Aaron, and uh, congratulations. Uh, now moving on to uh, Terence uh, Shimbadzuat. Uh, again, that blame on the accent. So, uh, Terence, can we can we hear from you, please? Not sure if Terence uh, is here. He was there in the beginning, but uh, probably a network issue. Maybe we can come back to him later. Yeah. So now we are moving on. Uh, it's a special day today. Uh, I heard. Uh, so Wanjiru, Wanjiru James uh, Njugi. I think today is uh, your birthday. You know, if uh, no one had complained about my accent, I would I would sing happy birthday for you. Uh, but uh, please just take my, uh, you know, the intention. <laughs> Is here. Happy birthday! Uh, so we are happy to give you this uh, this certificate of achievement on your on your birthday, and uh, I hope uh, you'll, uh, you'll 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 va you'll value it. Uh, but at least we value uh, your contribution and the work you've achieved to, uh, to 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 achieve and to get you know this certificate. Please, Wanjiro, uh, over to you. Yeah. Hello. Hello, yes. can you hear me? Yeah, we yes. can hear you. Oh yeah, actually, uh, I'm waiting. I'm keeping the team for cutting the cake. They're waiting for me. So I I've been waiting for this moment uh, to this time. And uh, I, I wish I had a chance so that I, I could showcase the cake because it's one of the best. But I, I trust you me, I'll share something with you all. Um, hello, um, as you have said, it's my day. Actually, it's, um, it's a double blessing because I have this uh, graduation day and birthday. Actually, it's my 32nd, so quite, um, quite, uh, quite an achievement. I, I want to say uh, congratulations to uh, the top three. Actually, we have really run this race together. Uh, it was quite... Um, quite tough let me say let me use the word tough um i'm happy because i've met people from different uh, perspective culture you know societies um and i can say it was more of an african thing because i could see so many people from uh, from this uh africa and it's it's an honor to be on this platform uh, i would say that one of the key points i managed to pick it's about outsourcing which uh, we are currently working with the organization I'm working with about, about um, trying to pick where exactly can we start outsourcing from uh, uh, from procurement to all the way to storage or distribution. So 
it's it's quite um it's quite an opportunity because it's it came to the right time so that I can apply these uh, knowledge. And actually yesterday I was talking with my boss, trying to evaluate where exactly should we start. And I, I'll tell you with time, I'll keep you updated where we are going next in a couple of months. COVID has changed how would you're doing things. And it's even here, it's, it's quite um, a disruptive uh, new system of working. So it's an honor, thank you. And once again, let me say to myself, happy birthday and congratulations to all. Thank Bye. you. Congratulations, Wanjiru. Great to hear from you. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we're looking for the looking for the cake. Yeah. But uh, next time, next time. So thank you, thank you very much and congratulations. Uh, moving on now to uh, for Wilson Khani. And uh, for for Wilson, can you can you say a few words? Uh, well, we uh, give you this uh, certificate of achievement and uh, congratulations for that. Good evening to one and all. It's a great privilege to be celebrating myself and you all on a day like this. Indeed, I will celebrate achievement that we have gotten together as a team. I want to be appreciative to the BSK for having this kind of vision and sharing their vision with some of us who are benefactors like today and celebrating. I am so grateful for the many things that I've learned from the high. Uh, one you know, just pick one of the things that I learned that was so new and interesting to me at sourcing, which I am just praying that I should have the opportunity to showcase that my my million of work so that I can add value to uh, the many out there who are trying to access to essential medicines and uh, health services. Uh, I want to also appreciate the team for making this course a competitive one so that <laughs> I was loving with my people from Cameroon that <laughs> for you to be a leader for 24 hours it means you have tried. Because in most cases, you will pretend that less than an hour by another. And that caused us to, to study hard. And I'm grateful that we, we were able to sell our own. And also for connecting with many others from different portfolios of life. And I just trust that we will keep in touch so that we can be able to edify one another even as we move forward to making a better society. If I stop with that, thanking Alexi for the, the, the many things that she has brought to me in particular and to us all, I would not be being good to myself and to the high. So I want to say, Alexi, thank you for bringing the information that you brought this evening so that I was able to learn a lot. And I was just wondering, why not make you my mentor? I was just having in my heart that uh, it will be an opportunity to actually connect with some people who can make my vision of uh, group work come to pass. I am so grateful to make the team know that uh, something which they did not know was that we were not only from Cameroon, from the CBC Health Services, and not only from CBC Health Services, but from one institution. And not only that, but from one family. And so that makes me so happy because uh, I was able to rally this group and then we were able to sell along. So uh, I, I want to be appreciative to them. Let me congratulate them in particular. and those are mentoring and I trust God that I will be able to impact the, the society. Congratulations Saya, for the time. So uh, I'm standing in your conference responding to our challenges and I say may you continue to keep up so that we can enjoy the high the more. And as you could see I brought a lot of people to the high and I will continue to be more because uh, 
like Alexis said, when we learn, we should be able to encourage others to learn as well. So thank you so much. And I'm almost uh, short of, I would have loved to say many things, but I would like to end here uh, by saying congratulations to the top three who finally came out uh, at the top of the leaderboard. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you very much uh, for Wilson Gandhi for uh, your, your words and your contribution. Thank you and congratulations for your participation and your achievement. So really, thank you very much. Um, and now we're coming to the last uh, certificate, which is going to be uh, handed over to uh, Yunwen Agai Rinda. So Yunwen, uh, 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 can, you, can you say a word uh, while we award you this certificate? Not sure. He's, he's here, yeah. Yunwen, can we hear from you? Hi. Can you hear me? Yes, please go on. Hi, everyone. Maybe try without the video because the connection is not that good. Yuen, please. I'm very, very happy. Thank you. Hi, can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you now, it's better. Yeah, I'm very yeah. happy. Yeah, I'm very, very happy and excited to have this certificate today. And it was a very tough learning process at one point, I felt like even giving up. But uh, thanks to the collective learning, which, which helped, and the competitiveness of, um, of the course, which helped me to to hold on and and sail to the end. Now, I want to thank the facilitators of this course who were there to respond and assist us and assist us during this course and i also want to say congratulations to the top three it wasn't an easy competition i'm saying congratulations to them and i want to also thank the speaker of today for the encouragement and the motivation to learn and i believe more will be coming up on the high for us to, to learn more. And I know this is just the beginning and I'll be expecting more from more courses on the hive. I, I'm very happy and I say thanks to the facilitators again for this learning session. Thank you. Thank you, thank you very much, uh, guy. Thank you for your uh, participation and thank you for your for your kind words. Now, I think we've gone through uh, all the awards and the distribution of all the certificates to all the members. Uh, we are a bit behind, uh, so we'll uh, probably uh, try to proceed. Yeah. Uh, so, Gilles, before we quickly proceed, uh, I think uh, uh, this is time where. I would request everyone to uh, switch on your cameras uh, so that we, all of us are visible. And then I will request Andrea to record this moment, uh, which we can then share with everyone as well. This is like a virtual group picture. This is like when in a conference, everyone stands together or in a training, everyone stands together for the picture. So this is like the virtual picture. If everyone can switch on their cameras, microphones though. <laughs> Sometimes yeah, they come. Yeah. Some of them are already some of them have already printed the, the certificate. Huh? Yes, <laughs> yes. Let me let me stop sharing the screen and then let me come back to the main uh, Zoom platform. Uh, everyone, if you can switch on your cameras, I see some very nice certificates printed as well. Uh, they're looking really nice. Uh Audu, Bikila, uh, Shamini, uh it would be great to see you guys as well. Very quickly for about 
10 seconds tadele your certificate is upside down <laughs> yeah that's this is amazing this is so amazing I, okay uh, bikila audu uh, yunwen njong i think njong is somewhere else probably with his peers uh, great uh, henry i hope you are recording these yeah uh, would be nice to uh, send every uh, i see njong over there with uh, yeah this yeah. my video has been disabled by the host Okay, hold on. Uh, let me fix that. Yeah, please. Uh, now you can. Yunwen Hagai, you can. Uh, you can try now. Yeah. Oh, awesome. The, I, I see a lot of excitement from Team Cameroon. Huh? <laughs> Great. All right. Uh, I hope Andrew, you have captured this moment. Uh, we will share this later. Uh, let's go back to the last portion of uh, today's session uh, so that we can uh, finish this session as well. Okay, I'll do no issues. Uh, you are on our thoughts. <laughs> Always here. Okay, moving on. Uh, so I would, I would just like to quickly showcase the team reports. Um, if you remember uh, last week, we asked several of you, uh, we asked you to come and have a discussion and discuss some key points that you learned, uh, your experience of working in teams and uh, what you can apply in your workplace. So there are two reports uh, which were prepared uh, by Team Red and Team Blue. So we are showcasing it here. I will just read out a few points like, for example, uh, uh, you know, and it's also mentioned before. Uh, that uh, you know you learned forecasting using Excel and some of you found it very easy but did not know how to do it before. Uh, you said being consultative and giving others a chance to air their opinions has been great during the group discussions. And uh, you know uh, some of you said that you will use those quantification methods uh, in your facilities and uh, you know having learned different types of distributions, you can use that in your workplace. Also from Team Blue, uh, there were a lot of points said like outsourcing, uh, warehouse processes, uh, forecasting again, and then uh, you know someone said uh, first time they had this kind of learning experience, uh, learning together with different professionals in the health sector, and of course uh, in terms of workplace application, uh, having issues with stock and learning to do how to how to do forecasting has been great, and of course uh, with the knowledge acquired. Uh, you know, you can make proper suggestions for solving some of the issues that you're seeing in your organization. So these were really good team reports. We will also be posting them on the Hive uh, for you to see, and we will also send uh, the document, uh, you know, over emails, and it, you will find it in the resources section of the group as well. Uh, so quickly moving on to the last section now, uh, I know some of you asked, uh, so what next on the Hive? So this is here we are uh, talking about some of the future activities which are going to happen on the Hive, uh, you know, in different formats. Uh, so the first one is the active learning sessions, uh, which we are going to launch very soon uh, in the month of July. Uh, there will be four themes, uh, eight topics in a month, which we will discuss and learn together. So this will be like uh, kind of learning again together. Uh, and we will give, uh, we will send you more details over the next uh, couple of weeks. And I'm, I'm going to talk about the themes and topics very soon. Then there is a new course, uh, which is coming soon uh, in the month of August, which is under micro learning credential. So this is not a, a collective learning course, which is, uh, uh, you know, which is more uh, into social learning and stuff, but this one is more self-paced learning uh, learning in in smaller nuggets, smaller smaller uh, bits, uh, bite size pieces, and a lot more courses are going to come under micro learning credentials as well. The first one will be under ABC analysis and its applications in health supply chains, and you will see that very soon. And then finally, uh, uh, in this year, we're going to launch the second installment of the collective learning certificate in supply chain for health. Uh, which will be on uh, enabling functions of supply chain. I'll get to uh, get to that in, in a bit. 
so this is the uh, active uh, details on the active learning sessions uh, as you see here there will be four themes every week uh, there will be a new theme uh, we will start with technologies in public health then we will move to green supply chains uh, then to effective sourcing and then finally towards uh, professionalization of health cadres under each theme there will be two topics which will be discussed and information will be provided every week so we will uh, provide a lot of information on these topics in a format which you can understand there will be some images uh, there may be some videos uh, and uh, you will also be given opportunity to uh, you know talk about your own situation uh, your own knowledge and understanding which you can share uh, with others uh, in those groups uh, so we have eight topics uh, we will uh, share more information on this on the hive and through emails so keep checking your emails keep uh, logging into the hive as well to see what's happening uh, in the month of july so this is specifically for the month of july it begins from 5th of july and ends at uh, ends on 30th of july then uh, in the month of august uh, the first micro learning credential on abc analysis will be launched uh, this will be a, a small one week course uh, and organized into small nuggets so that you know people who are busy in their uh, daily schedules can take out like 15 minutes every day and then finish this course uh, very quickly uh, however uh, as you know we have we have said in our previous courses and discussions that all of our courses will have linkages with practical applications so one of the key things that we are going to do in this course as well will be to uh, effectively teach each one of you how to conduct abc analysis and how to use it for different purposes and then uh, at the end we will also organize a webinar uh, where we will discuss more information on abc analysis uh, implications in health uh, and other areas so this will be launching in august uh, stay tuned all the informations will land in your inboxes and also on the hive and finally in uh, fourth quarter q4 uh, between uh, october and december this year 2021 uh, we will launch the second installment of uh, the supply chain for health course so the one which you did just now was focused more on core functions of supply chain and the second installment will focus more on the enabling uh, functions of supply chain like uh, managing data quality assurance supply chain performance and first and foremost uh, foundation for a resilient supply chain infrastructure finance and resources and so jeel uh, just a quick word on the next uh, activities on the hive and uh, motivation for everyone to keep coming back to the hive no well, i mean uh, first of all on this course i think we already have uh, one participant with uh, who is at least lined up for the course uh, that elvin so congratulations and uh, will be very very happy uh, i hope that uh, other members of the team uh, will will be able to join up um no i think uh, first of all yes those, those, uh, there is one just to highlight I mean, this course is a continuation of of, of this one uh, so it's it's going to be uh, uh, more looking on how we can enable the function, you know, what are the, the environment, the enabling environment uh, that needs to be created uh, to create uh, efficient supply chain. So it's an interesting one. I want to highlight uh, the element of the of the micro learning. We call it micro learning, but it may not be that micro learning. There are some 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 specific topics, very specific, which are. Uh, important to to know uh, that we're going to try to organize into uh, uh, I mean the term is nuggets uh, small nuggets that can be taken in uh, five minutes uh, time so five minutes of your time when you're going to take a coffee in a break uh, somewhere you can access them very easily with a mobile phone or something like that then there will be uh, some maybe more robust element but the aim is really to target some uh, specific element and this is going to be available on the hive so again please uh, you know keep coming in uh, keep uh, you know uh, contributing to the, to the discussion 
uh, maybe through the discussion there are ideas that will uh, you know come to you you'll be inspired with new ideas and you can suggest some themes that you would like us uh, to discuss so yeah a lot is going on um, and it's really a thanks also to your participation to your feedback which are very encouraging uh, Prince Lee, you want to say something, please? I, I, I'm sorry for interrupting, please. but I, I am notifying, I'm noticing the presence of, of Terence, Terence Chimbazwa. It's like maybe he has not spoken, maybe if he can be given the opportunity to speak, he will, he will also record it be good to hear his voice. Thank you. Thank you. Maybe Sanjay, you can go back to the, to the certificate of Terence. Yeah, uh, Terence, can you hear us? Because uh, I don't see a microphone uh, against his name. Terence, can you hear us? Maybe in the next five, 10 minutes, if Terence, you can hear us, then please speak up. We would like to uh, show and show and award your certificate as well. Okay, Terence has gone, probably a network issue. Uh, Gilles, over to you. Oh, I think uh, you know I've gone through through it, and we are a bit uh, behind. I mean, there yeah. is the themes which are which are also uh, you know lined up uh, to be discussed again. For those themes, uh, those are those are themes that uh, we are proposing. But I, I I trust that in the future, you know, uh, it's going to be more an exchange, yeah. and uh, we are really expecting for any suggestion. Uh, you know, we are here to facilitate. Uh, this big world of community management uh, is more like community facilitation. This is where we see our role going more and more, facilitating you know, this community, uh, bringing some uh, format and proposing some format, but you know, it's also uh, up to you to, to propose uh, what you want to hear about, what you want to discuss, or what you want to share with others. As Alexis said at the beginning, it's knowledge, you know, it's also something that can be shared, you know, as they say. If you if you give all the knowledge you have, you're not going to lose anything. You know you, you you still have it after giving it all out. So you know, let's you know, let's share our knowledge yeah. as much as we can. Yeah, and one more announcement, which is not on the slides because uh, we are still uh, discussing the final dates. Uh, but in the next couple of months, uh, the Hive platform the courses, the discussions, uh, working in teams, chats, notifications, everything is going to be available on an Android app. So I believe uh, all of you or most of you use Android phones. Uh, it's going to be even more user friendly in the future. Uh, in the next couple of months, uh, the Hive is coming on Android app. Uh, it, the learning will be in your pocket. Uh, your discussions will become much more streamlined. Uh, you will be able to connect with people even in a much better way, and you will be able to reach out to us uh, in, a, in a much more smooth manner. Uh, we are still uh, in the final stages of the development. Uh, we, we, I didn't have a date today. That's why it's not on the slides. As soon as we have the date, uh, the information will reach your inbox uh, You know, then. And uh, we hope as we launch the app, we will see all of you there and other participants who had, uh, you know, come and taken our courses before as well and who are active on the Hive. Uh, before we finish, I also want to say that there is a new homepage of the Hive, uh, which I would like to show you right now, uh, mm -hmm. you know, because we have been uh, working on that for the past month. And we wanted to uh, unveil that homepage tonight. So very quickly, I'm going to take you through that homepage and you can also uh, go to that homepage and look at it yourself. So this is the new homepage of the Hive. Uh, if you see it on the screen, uh, it has more information about what Hive is, uh, where the members are coming from, uh, where are they working, in different types of organizations, what are some of our different courses which are there on the platform and the future ones will also be showcased here. And we are also showcasing some of our CPD certified members. Uh, it has your information as well. Uh, and as more members get C CPD certified, they, they will also join uh, you know, this feature. In case if, if you don't want us to feature you, uh, uh, 
and then of course some community of practice which are there on the hive uh, and testimonials and uh, our collaborations memberships as well so it's a brand new home page we are also working on the app like i mentioned and uh, a few more things uh, on the platform on and, and on our website uh, which will be uh, communicated and shared very soon so this was the end uh, of uh, the future and what is there right now on the hive as we um, uh, okay i think terence is back so we can try to terence can you hear us please speak up very quickly uh, we would like to award your certificate before we just go away terence yes yes i can hear you great great terence that you could join us congratulations uh, on achieving uh, or finishing the course and this is the certificate of achievement we have just finished the certification but now since you are here we would like to hear from you very quickly before you before we close out this session all right uh first of all thank you so much for the opportunity and the scholarship to participate in the collective learning certificate uh from the interactive perspectives i really learned a lot uh, I have learned a lot uh, by mingling with other people, uh, understanding their health supply chains. Uh, it was a great opportunity, and I look forward to uh, for, to, uh, to another interactive session again, where we'll be uh, learning and sharing ideas. Uh, above all, congratulations to other participants who have achieved this certificate. I indeed, it's a great milestone for all of us in the supply chain sector. I think I thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Terence. And really, uh, congratulations. Congratulations for this achievement. Congratulations for your uh, participation. And, uh, you know, as it's been said, it's uh, one milestone in a, in a long journey that we take uh, collectively. So really, Let's look at uh, this is the beginning and let's look at what's going to come next. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Terence. Congratulations. And uh, thank you, everyone, for joining us in the session. Uh, this is the closure of this session, closure of uh, this course. In case there are uh, any issues that you wanted to reach out to us, please send us emails. Uh, you can also join us on LinkedIn and Facebook. Andrea has shared those links. Uh, please do join us there because we keep on posting some useful information there. There is a new blog on the Hive on circular supply chain. Uh, we have been uh, talking about that a lot. We have been thinking about that a lot. And eventually, uh, we have written uh, a blog for all of you to understand what is circular supply chain. There is a new buzzword in town. Do read, do read that. Uh, you might find that interesting. Uh, if anyone wants to write a blog as well, do reach out to us. Uh, we will also publish your articles and blogs on the Hive as well. Uh, with that, I sincerely thank everyone. Uh, thanks, Gilles, uh, uh, for participating here uh, all the way from Dakar. I know the internet has not been that great. Thanks, Andrea, for uh, keeping us in touch with the participants all the time. Uh, you know, uh, without your contribution, we would not have been able to finish this course uh, effectively. Uh, and of course, uh, thanks to everyone for contributing and uh, taking time to do this course. All the best and we see you on the Hive and keep contributing, keep learning. And uh, let's, uh, <laughs> Princely is showing his certificate and let's uh, keep in touch on the Hive it will get much easier uh, very soon with the app and uh, we will reach out to you with more information as we shared with you today. Have a good day, good evening, good night and uh, stay safe. COVID is not over. Keep wearing your mask. Good night, good night. Thank you. Good night, congratulations. 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 Good <laughs> 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 <laughs>
will be music for us. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you.